Now to tennis and the top players are having a well-earned rest before the new season gets underway in Abu Dhabi with the Mubadala World Championships at the end of December. Now while the likes of Andy Murray, Rafael Nadal and defending champion Novak Djokovic are preparing to come to the UAE, hundreds of young players across the country are battling for the right to face their heroes across the court before the championship starts. The Mubadala Community Cup is the target, and here to explain more is Vicky Gunnison, the event manager, event director from IMG Middle East. Vicky, thank you very much for coming in. It's great thank to you see very you. much, Graham. Tell us first more about the Mubadala Community Cup itself. How did these young uh, kids get the chance to get into these tennis clinics? What's the process they're, they're going through at the moment? Sure. The Mubadala Community Cup is a meaningful uh, community initiative being put on by Flash Entertainment, Mubadala and IMG, in order to develop tennis in the UAE and to introduce the competitive element of tennis, really. So it's a kind of a springboard between the beginners and uh, elite. Uh, right now it's, uh, it's in the middle of uh, being played. We've had um, many events uh, on last weekend. Uh, we have 350 participants in total. And we have age groups ranging from eight to uh, all the way through adults mixed doubles. And it's being uh, played in Abu Dhabi and Dubai across eight venues right now. Uh, you've been running this initiative for a few years now. Uh, so now are you starting to see the long-term legacy of tennis uh, in the country starting to come through? Absolutely. We have seen a tremendous increase in participation in tennis in, in general in the UAE. And we have seen especially the competitive element racing. So more, more, more kids in there playing competitively, which is really the, the whole part of it. And more, most importantly, we've seen an increase in Emiratis playing. We had an increase from 38% uh, from the last two years. So that's, that's great results right there. Now, now, thinking about these actual tennis clinics themselves, I believe it's the six, 60 out of the, the hundreds that you've had entered. What do they actually get? What is the prize for these, these lucky kids? They win a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to play uh, in a clinic at the main Mubadala World Tennis Championship event with one of those stars. So the winner, the runner-up, and two raffle picks from each age group and each venue gets this chance. And also along with this, you're running the Tennis in Schools program. Um, is that more to, to uh, introduce people who've never played the game before to, to tennis? Sure. These two programs really work as a complement to each other, where, whereas Mobala Community Cup introduces uh, introduce the competitive element. Tennis in schools really takes the, the kids who've never tried tennis before, introduces them to mini tennis. So it's really a grassroots program, and we go out to 40 schools across UAE, in particular local government school. So that, that is the, the program that really has uh, tremendous meaning to, to the local community in Abu Dhabi. Oh, it's fantastic. And then, of course, after that, we have the, the World Championships themselves, world number one, Andy Murray and the returning Rafael Nadal. Absolutely. I just got news from uh, my colleagues in Spain today that Rafa is back practicing after his injury. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he should be uh, very eager to... Uh, to try and, and uh, win. I mean, he's won the event two years before, and he's right up there. He needs some practice before the Australian Open, obviously, so he'll be very happy to be here, and so will defending champion Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray. We haven't seen him back now f uh, since the first year, so it should be very exciting. Fantastic. We're looking forward to it. Thanks very much for coming in. Vicky Gunnison, event director from IMG.